All right, season greetings. Welcome to Mission Bay High School. We are Tony Sanchez and Alejandro Lucia Villasenor ready for some UPSL action here in the tournament that can decide who will be the representative for the UPSL into the Lamar Hunt Open Cup. We are going to go ahead and start with this beautiful day here in beautiful San Diego with the Arizona team in the green, Inter Esti Internacional in the white and blue. We're going to go ahead and have the proceedings of the national anthem, and we will kick off very shortly. All right, we are gonna go ahead and get this started. It seems like we're switching sides here for the first match in this tournament to decide who moves into the Lamar Hunt Open Cup, the oldest soccer tournament in the world. Once again, my name is Tony Sanchez, part of the Two Balls at a Mic podcast, San Diego's number one soccer podcast, covering everything soccer in San Diego credited media along with Alejandro El Chiva Villaseñor, who's currently hard at work here uh, with the lineups. But we have the Arizona, Arizona champions, Delfines de Abasolo from Arizona coming in all the way into Southern California here in Mission Bay High School. These two teams are gonna go ahead and give us a showcase here today of the best of their league. Like I said, it's gonna be Este Internacional, the champions of the UPSL SoCal South Division. Saludos to, to everybody listening over into Arizona. It's just As we have the referee blow for the beginning of the first half, we're going to go ahead and have the lineups as we have them from SD Internacional. 
number one in goal, Evan Stoll, who arguably was the MVP in the last match in order to win against Escondido FC, formerly known as Mayas, in a good game here, three to one, which led ST Internacional to this position we have here. Hand goes up, asking for an offside. Evan Stoll is going to have the first opportunity, but it's going to be in offsides. First offsides. It's going to be called in favor of SD Inter. As I was saying, number one, zero one, Evan Stoll in the defense. You have Brent Zuniga, number two, Capitanissimo. Very unorthodox style of defending. All out defending. Sometimes puts his body in the line, but it's one of those things where if the ball is in the air, if it's anywhere near an area, it's going to be probably near Brent Zuniga, the man here on the ball. As you're going to see, we're going to talk later, is going to be Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz is the highest scorer in the regular season with 24 goals. Here's the ball. Inter looking on the right side, looking to get somebody into the box. That gets deflected and gets cleared out there by Delfines. Delfines, really good control here in the midfield. SD Inter are able to play in very, very different types of ways. We also have number four, Esteban Cepeda, another defender. Number seven, Mark Cruz. This is going to be in, in numerical order. Number eight, Caleb Rubin in the midfield. Chris Ribet in the nine. Number 10, German Sierra. We're also going to go ahead and have number 11, Garcia. Ian, it's going to be a foul here. Now, you're going to hear a lot about Mark Cruz. He was pr probably the MVP in the season in the nation overall, and as you see him here. In between one, defenders. two, three players, the ball offloaded over to the side. This is going to be Calero. Calero inside of the box gets bounced off, and that's not going to be a foul, but still, it's going to go down in some pain there and some discomfort. Referee, there's been a couple of instances where it could have been a foul, but this is going to be another chance for Delfinas on the counterattack on the left-hand side. You're going to have some pressure there from Cepeda. Large number of people making the trip out here. We have a lot of fans here from the Finas in the YouTube street. Shout out to the 602. Shout out to... All of the Delfinas fans joining us over from Arizona. Make sure you like and subscribe to Two Balls and a Mic. Why not? As this ball travels all the way back to the goalkeeper. And yeah, we were just going over the players that are available for Inter. You have number 12, Garrett Heine. Number 13, Diego Martinez. 14th, Jack Sandmeyer. Cole Johnson with the 15th, Brian. Pal Palatok, you're going to find him in defense. Daniel Strakas, Felix Calero, and Pedrito, Pedro, Pedro, Golomar. The famous Pedrito Golomar. Legacy team here in San Diego. A lot of history, 10 years of experience for some of these players, some of these uh, members of the community who have brought this team to light. 10 years ago, flag goes up. It's going to be an offsides Inter. This is the 10th anniversary for San Diego Internacional. Probably one of the best seasons that we've ever seen in Inter. We've been covering them already for three years. And for sure has been the best season. Let us know your shout outs over here in the chat. Correct, it is uh, two balls and a mic. It is two guys knowing all about ball, soccer ball. As you have another chance here in between two players, it's gonna be Evan Stoll. It's gonna be go up and over. It's gonna be out for a goal kick. Alerta Roja, watch out. We do want to say and apologize for the the bleeding of audio from La Porra, Delfinas fans here, taking shade. Each and every season of PB of uh, Internacional Soccer, San Diego Internacional, is brought to you in part by PB European Imports. PB European Imports. If you have anything that has to do with a vehicle that needs fixing. Check out PB European Imports. Even if you're all the way from Arizona, they'll take your uh, business. Trust us. Ask for Coach Alex at PB European Imports. Any smog, smog check needs, Smog Express, got to. Check out Sauce, Smog Express. Results may vary depending on Arizona and California. 
very, very different emission uh, laws. As we have a ball here that travels up and over, that's going to be Brian Palpalatok trying to get control of that. Palpalatok actually has a brother we see here, and uh, the other Palpalatok. The boy, Maddie. Maddie Palpalatok. Again, it's a legacy team, family team. It's what it's all about. It's what it's always been about. There's a good recuperation there in the midfield by Heine. And that's going to be a foul. We have a set piece here for SD Internacional, who try to go quickly here with Calero, looking for Mark. Cruz. Here's Brent Zuniga. Danny Strokis back to Zuniga, playing it with each other, trying to get wide here, trying to open up the spaces. Inter. Good idea here. And again, can't really say that I'm too familiar with Delfines' his play style. Delfines. Well, let us know in the chat what's the yeah, play style for this Delfines team. A lot of following in the chat. Let us know. Let, us know. let us know who to watch out for for Delfines as well. What I can tell you, Chiba, is that Delfines have eight wins, one loss, and one draw in the regular season. Season 42 total goals. Brian A. Medina number uh, has 10 goals here as a forward. Anthony Seat is also a forward, has three. Alexis Avila has the next closest with three as well. So uh, very spread out here. If you look at it compared to Internacional's game, talking about Mark A. Cruz Benito, that's going to be 24 goals for Mark. That's 2-4. That is correct. 2-4 goals for one individual. We saw him score about eight goals in a 16-0 match to close out the season. As you have here, another look here by the Arizona team. So far, what we can't tell right now, it's going to be a very fast-paced game. A lot of counter-attacking play from Delfines. Other notable players, Jonathan Hernandez de Laya, Raul Martinez Tan, Sebastian Contreras, Omar Samaripa for the Delfines. The Abasolo, as here's an opportunity. Evan Stoll comes out. He's able to get big, but the danger's not over yet. Inter scrambling to get the ball out of that area, but Arizona still with a shot, and that is going to be a goal. Goal! Delfines score the first one here in Mission Bay against Inter in this tournament. Beautiful. Curler, nothing for Evan Stoll to do there at the end. That's going to be a 1-0 for Delfines. Number 10, Brian scoring that goal. And what a curler it was. Nothing Evan could do on that one. What a beautiful shot. And we have a game in our hands. First goal. Of this round of 32 match and i'm looking at the looking at the roster here for delfines looks like brian number 10 the 10 goals in the season top scorer if that's who we're talking about scoring that goal there dangerous dangerous man that's one zero so so we'll see if delfines is able to keep up the pressure as the inter need to regroup here we've seen inter come back from a couple of goals down, be able to be patient, be able to be resilient. But here's another opportunity here, Delfines, trying to make this a 2-0. But here comes San Diego, Inter, Cruz, putting on that speed. Probably the fastest player. What a ball here by Cruz. And that's going to be a fantastic stop by the Delfines goalkeeper. But I will say that's the first look here for SC Inter responding very quickly after that 1-0, and they go quicker here. Uno, dos, they want that taquito. Mark unable to be on the receiving part of that. But again, you can start to see exactly how dangerous he is. We have coach Keith Miller for San Diego Internacional giving instructions, giving his team those helpful tips and tricks as far as what he wants to see. Passing by the 10-minute mark here. 
And this is going to be a battle of number 10 against number 7. Brian versus Mark, both with the pink cleats. You can tell they're the two best players in the pitch right now. Like number 11 missed the pass there. Se la quería pasar a Casper the Friendly Ghost. We have a lot of uh, number nines on this Anthony Mapula. Lots of uh, Delphine emojis in the chat as well. It's pretty cool, actually. Saludos a Arizona. Inter are going to try to keep working here, trying to get the ball over to Cruz. That's going to be a really good slide tackle. But another opportunity into the box. Caleta unable to finish that pass into the middle. Referee says play on. Calero takes on one. Trying to switch sides. Another good sliding effort here by the defense of Delfines. And watch out, because this might be another opportunity for a counterattack. Comes Brian looking over. That's Brent Zuniga in the air. Clearing that ball with the header. Ball goes back to Evan Stoll. And Brent Zuniga is definitely going to have to put a shift himself today. Very pacey attacking team that this Delfinas team has on top. Here's an opportunity once again for Brian, who again gets ran into number 14, Jack Sandmeyer, but Puro Cuerpo says the referee. Strock is unable to get rid of the ball here. Danny needs to be a little quicker with those feet. And this can be an opportunity now for Delfines to stretch out the field, give an opportunity for their players to have to force Inter to chase the ball a little bit early on in this first half. And Tony, you can see Coach Miller frustrated with this team right now, the way they're positioned. Zuniga not being able to find the mark here. And if you're the Delfinas, you have to take advantage of the frustration right now of SD Inter and maybe put on another one. Very rapid, very fluid play here by Delfines. You can definitely tell that they're a cohesive unit. They know where everybody is. They're not just being fancy for the sake of being fancy. There's there's a reason to do it. Otro taquito kid now. Daniel Strzok is one of his own. Cruz, Danny, switching it over. Y Tony, están llegando los tíos. Pues, the tíos del Inter need to get this team back on track. Comes across into the box, but that's going to be deflected out for a corner in favor of SD Internacional. And we have, his, we have seen SD Inter before score from set pieces. So we'll see the first corner of the game. So the winner of this game is going to go forward and either going to travel over to Orange County, probably Anaheim, and or Indio, California. Las dos sedes of the next round. Here comes a corner into the box. Up goes Sandmeyer. There's a collision in the box, but referee says no. It's going to be a goal kick here for Club Deportivo Delfines. And you hear Captain Brent Suñiga from SD Inter just yelling at his teammates, telling them to calm down, telling them to stop. It'll be interesting to see how the remaining first half turns out. So a lot of time left for either team to do some damage.
Because when you got clears. Cruz. Cruz trying to give the ball back there, but unable to finish that next part. And, and again, we've seen this from Inter before, where early in the first half, there's some inconsistencies at the passes. The short, easy ones would get away, so it's hard to build any sort of offense from there. Cruz. It's going to be a long throw in here by Delfines. Good pass para el cambio de juego. But even better anticipation there. That was short lived. Delfín is putting on the pressure very, very high up the pitch. Okay, 20 que están viendo en Tijuana. Saludos a Tijuas. De los delfines. Mark Cruz in between two. Looks and finds another corner kick. It's going to be another corner kick here for San Diego Inter, who have had a history of being rather good in the air in set pieces. Sandmeyer getting ahead onto the last one. And from the looks of it today, it looks like Inter has the height advantage for players like Sandmeyer and Caleb Rubin being the tallest players on the field today. Horner goes up in the air. Sandmeyer still inside of the box. And that overhead kick goes up and out. It's going to be a goal kick for Delfines. But again, SD Inter. Looking, trying. Daniel Stroke is there trying with the little chilenita. ¿Y por qué delfines? ¿Qué, qué, qué delfines hay en Arizona? Hay usted unos? Someone oh. let us know the background of oh. history of this, of this team, how long they've been playing together. O sea, ¿no? Here comes a chance here. It gets blasted all the way over to... Eventually, Evan Stoll, the goalkeeper for Inter. Breaking news, we do have uh, dolphins probably in the aquariums in Arizona, those famous Arizona <laughs> aquariums. As we have Inter here, who are trying to find something in the last third to build on. Pal Paltok here trying to control that, but instead it rebounds off. It's going to be another opportunity for Delfines. Looking, trying, finding, but a misplaced. Pass here. This is going to be a uh, almost out the pass. They're trying to play it with each other. Calero and Cruz. Andy, they're getting rid of the ball. Mucha porra para Andy aquí. Y para Delfines in the chat and in person. As this ball gets cut off by Brent. Man on here by Sandmeyer who clears the ball, but nobody there in the middle from his team to get it. A lot of space here in the midfield for Inter that they're allowing Delfines to just kind of do what they want. As this long ball is going to go ahead and find the attacker for SD Inter and a shot, an opportunity here. Very good defend, very well defended there by Club Deportivo Delfines de Alasolo. That was a huge chance for SD Inter and again, like you said, Tony, great defending. But it should have been more for Inter. Delfines de Abasolo del Gran Cheskix Rafael Mesa Presidente. Presidente. Hasta Chicago nos están viendo. Saludos. 
subscribe to two balls and a mic that's the number two b-a-l-l-s-a-n-d-m-i-c two balls and a mic as the corner here for sd ink that's looking for some height no no more chaos here but it's gonna be a goal kick goal kick here it's gonna be a ball for delfines as one of the players takes a couple extra seconds to get up but everything seems to be okay there Zuniga there in the air. It's going to be very hard to get past him in the aerial game, what, uh, in any situation, to be honest. As the Inter trying to think of something, concoct something with Pal Palatok. Strokis back to Sandmeyer. That's Caleb Rabin there. And the ball looking for somebody inside. Does look like Delfines has just slowed down a tad bit as this might be another opportunity for them to mount something important as. It's going to be a good play here. Watch out. Brent Zuniga on the back. But it's going to be a shot into the hands of goalkeeper Evan Stoll. Saludos desde Chicago. Toda la banda del fin. A por ellos. Puro delfines. Representando de Phoenix, Arizona. And this now will be a throw in here. Gets headed by the Arizona player. A couple of miscues for each team. Things are opening up on both ends. It's going to be Brian for Delfines, who looks and finds almost a good pass and a good pathway. Gets cut off by Sandmeyer. This overhead ball is going to look for Calero. Calero is not going to make it. Before the Delfines goalkeeper is able to pick that up. Something important for SD Inter is going to be Caleb Rubin, making sure that he has a good game. But he has a long ball here for Delfines. It's going to be an opportunity one-on-one on one with the last defender. It's going to be a chance. It's going to be a shot, a cut. And that's going to be a second goal. Again, scoring his second of the game, gets a brace in the first half. And now on the hunt for a hat trick in this match. It's now a 2 0 affair, 23 minutes into the first half. Coach Heath Miller starts looking over at his bench, trying to find some answers, perhaps. This is going to be a difficult task. Delfines double their advantage here. Like I was saying, Tony, it's going to be difficult if Caleb Rubin and Stroke is, they're not having a good game today. Both your center mids, you have to rely on them to be able to apply pressure in that midfield. And if they're not closing in on those players, those long balls are going to keep happening. And that's how both the goals have happened so far. Absolutely. And again, it's the most dangerous player, right? At least look at the score sheet of the season. And you'll know that number 10, Brian Medina, is somebody that you have to keep an eye on and take extra care of two times to vacunado there's still a lot of time left but you got to start making something happen in the offensive sense because if defensively brian's going to be doing that the whole game is going to be a nightmare for you and essentially right now brian outshining mark from sd inter who scored 24 goals in the season 24 goals doesn't matter in the new tournament doesn't matter in this game it matters what you do now and so far it's a 2-0 affair here as Inter looking over to fight. It's a very physical affair here. Mark in between two, not being able to get that ball back. Here's Medina once again, 
laying off a good pass, but Eaton that able to intercept that and cut that off. Here comes Cruz. Cruz trying to get this combobulated, but that is going to be a no foul. I really haven't seen a lot of fouls being called at all, where otherwise we'd see a call from the local referees by now. That one particularly maybe not a foul, but pretty strong um, challenges here on both ends. Season's greetings to the UPSL who reached out to us. Yes, the league reached out to us and asked, hey guys, you guys do the stream on YouTube and had some requests and we've met said requests. So shout outs to the UPSL league for throwing us up on their social medias, giving us the props. We're putting this stream together. So shout out to everybody who's listening who's interacting in the chat. 2-0 here as the Internacional need to think of something if they want to get at least one back here before the end of the first half. And there's going to be a throw-in for them. So looking over at the bench, not necessarily a lot of depth from what we've seen. We do see Chris Ribet over there who's had a couple of important interventions throughout the season. Yeah, Chris Ribet could definitely be an important game changer for... As the Inter with that speed that he has. Strakis. And that ball is going to strike the arm of number 11 there. And the day right now, you're going to need a player that's able to connect with Mark. That's going to be the key for Coach Miller to have someone that can connect with him and be on the same page and start building something up on top. I agree. Mark Cruz cannot do it on his own. Well, actually, he can, but he shouldn't have to especially in this height with these teams that are tested, proven. Delfines, we were talking about it. Eight wins, one draw, one loss. They were having a pretty dominant season, actually. I was looking at some of their victories. Maybe not a 16-0, to zero, but nonetheless, a very good team. This ball is going to travel all the way to Evan Stoll, who has to come out. Give a defensive header there to help out his defense. Stole all the way out. And and I would not be surprised if Caleb Rubin is one of the players subbed out at halftime, Tony. Got subbed last game in the championship match. They didn't have the best game. Very much see a short game today for him. Shout out Ching Pop. Thank you for the shout out. Just looking at some of these cool names in the chat. That's part of it. This ball is going to travel out. It's going to be a throw in here for the Arizona team. And it's the beginning of the holiday season, beginning of really summer here with this 4th of July holiday coming up. Not just because Delfines are here, but I do notice an uptick of the Arizona natives moving over here for the winter or the summer, at least. I wonder why. Beautiful weather here that we're having in sunny San Diego, California. Again, make sure you give us a follow on Two Balls and a Mic, all social media platforms, subscribe on our YouTube channel, cover all local soccer here in San Diego. And here's another opportunity here for Delfinas. Evan still puts his hands up. Yep, it's going to be a goal kick for him. Yeah, if you follow professional soccer in, in Arizona, do they have professional soccer in Arizona, Tony? There's the Phoenix Rising team. Phoenix Something Rising. San Diego here is very familiar with. And again, looks like uh, Inter is not being able to capitalize and make anything necessarily happen in an offensive sense. Looking for more individual efforts here. Another mistake here by Rubin. No chance here. It's going to be Zuniga. Zuniga putting on that speed. He's going to get pushed from the back. He's going to be offsides anyway. Are you guys San Diego fans? They're asking us in the chat. Well, we cover San Diego sports, we cover San Diego soccer. So am I a San Diego fan? I'm a fan of the city and everything that represents the city. But because we're accredited media, technically, we Not cannot fans. be rooting and be fans of the team. We do like what's happening here locally. We are fans of San Diego Inter. You're asking us that. 
and we are excited to have MLS here in San Diego in 2025. As it looks like here's a chance here. Mark Cruz trying to make something happen out of nothing. He's going to be bounced off. Still inside of the box. Galeno able to find his way out of that paper bag. It's going to be a quick throw in here by Pat Palatok. Brian finding Cruz. And no one there to help Cruz, though. No one there to help Cruz, and there's just a lot of spaces there that Delfinas are taking advantage of. That's going to be blown here for a whistle against Pat Palatok. Club Deportivo Delfin Ball. It's going to be very important for SD Inter to find a goal in this before the end of the half. But again, we have heard before, 2-0, the resultado más engañoso. So SD Inter not necessarily completely out of this one. And this ball is going to be ruled a Inter ball. Number 23, Calero, is going to go ahead and hand it over to Brian. Rubin to Zuniga, Pal Palatok. Strokis. Good play here by Jack Sandmeyer. A very good pressure by Delfinas. Just closing in on those avenues and taking away the opportunities for Inter to really have clean looks. This one's going to go up and out. I, I, I really love, like, how much fa how the fandom of Delfinas. Saludos a mi compadre, Aníbal Valdez, Delfín de la Cuna. As they were asking here for some refereeing interact intervention, Mark Cruz is going to get himself a foul now in front of the referee to the displeasure of the traveling Delphine fans. Looks like they're going to try something here. Cross it in the box. We're going to have a set piece here. Travel into the box, and that's going to be headed and cleared out. It's going to be a corner from the other side. I don't think Inter's have a corner here. It's had a couple on the other side. Con la comba para adentro. Left to right. This has to be it for Inter taking advantage of the height. Had a couple dangerous looks and corner pieces already. Yes, sir. Gonna be a corner into the box, into the hands of the Club Deportivo Delfines goalkeeper who looks and finds his only attacker. Pal Palatok there trying to ensure that Brian Medina doesn't go past him. Medina offloads it to his number 11 compadre. On the sounds of it, Tony, sounds like Delfinas is a very family-oriented team, which we're all about that. And again, the winner of this tournament, not, not something small. Eventually, the winner of the 32 teams moves on to be the representative of the UPSL in the Lamar Hunt Open Cup, where they have the chance to play against teams in the USL, even into the MLS. We've seen it. We've seen teams climb those ranks. As here's another opportunity, this ball is going to travel and roll into Evan Stoll's hands. Not a good clear kick from Evan Stoll. Yeah, a lot of a lot, a lot for Coach Keith to be thinking about on that folding chair of his today. A 
the Inter definitely not used to this this season. They've dominated every single game they played. We have counterattack here from Ezi Inter. Maybe they can build something here. Cruz finding the other side. The flag's going to go up. It's going to be offside. None of this counts. Shout out to the birds that's on top of the lights. It keeps getting bigger. Been here since day one of this season for Esti Internacional. We'll give you guys a zoom at halftime. The rally nest. Very close to the ocean here. Maybe they get a field boost like you do in Yu-Gi-Oh. So near the ocean, these delfines. This ball is going to go and travel. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Still another opportunity. It's going to be Cruz. Cruz against the world with the left of his trying to find something, a corner, trying to save this ball. It does save the ball, but putting the bodies in front of him is going to be. It's going to be a throw in is what the referee is signaling to. But again, as the Inter relying on Mark again, no help from him. Yeah, space right here. Here's the comes the shot. And that shot does travel out to the side. It's going to be a goal kick. As we are closing in on the 37th minute now of action. As we see Coach Alex approaching Coach Keith. Sometimes last thing you want to see is the owner of the team. Even the head coach, what to see. And here's another opportunity, dangerously, two teams here. It's good, not, I don't think it's going to count as a foul necessarily for Delfina is correct because there was no way Sandmeyer had his eyes on that one. So, as contrary to the Porra, it was not Arroja. It's going to be Rubin finding some help here. Zuniga clears the ball out, up and out to the races. Great control here in between three players, finding Cruz, trying to find him. He gets pushed from the back, but not enough for any sort of penalty call. Gets cleared out by the Delfina's team. Inter need to muster something up here if they want to get on the scoreboard before the first half. Danny. Danny. Just finds himself into a corner, and he really can't do much about that one. As you see, Mark still arguing with the side ref. Claims he got caught on the cleats. I, I kind of have to agree with him. I thought he did get fouled in the box. Could have been a penalty. Ref disagrees. Shout out to Fortorenza. You see him on the track with that fantastic camera of his. Check him out as we have here another opportunity. Nobody there in the middle for Inter. Miscommunication after miscommunication. And this is what has led to Delfina's being so dangerous on the counter using that speed. Medina. Trying to find Medina again. Sandmeyer in the way. And again, there's a lot of open spot up on top for Inter where no one seems to be in the middle. This could be a game for German or even Chris Rivet to stay on top, stay in the middle, and find the open space. Mark Cruz here with a shot from outside the box, gets bounced up, and it's going to be a good double save here for the goalkeeper. Fantastic in two times. That was a poisonous shot there from outside of the box by Cruz. Expertly taken care of. And it's going to be a little bump here. Nothing much. Suniga. Love when the Porras team La raza gives, nunca your own, falla. gives your own player the business. Un besito nomás. Suniga. Struck uh, Rubin. Rubin trying to find the other side on the right side. Good look. 
Here's an opportunity for Inter. Stepping inside of the box and finding a teammate. And they get destroyed. Puro balón, all ball. Very good in defense here. I gotta say, Club Deportivo Delfines. It's gonna be another corner here for Inter. Again, I think they've connected in almost every corner. It just wasn't on target. You're mentioning Chiva, the height advantage that Inter possess here in this match. Ball travels inside, finding Sandmeyer, who gets deflected for a corner kick. Yeah, it's going to be another corner kick from the other side now. I think that so far they've had better crosses off that right side compared to this left one. And we're winding down in time here. Yet another corner kick that really hasn't found anything. Yet, yeah, big collision here in the area. Delfines players ask for this ball to be stopped. It's going to be a, it's going to be a head collision, I believe. No foul. Gonna be another ball here for SD Inter. Delfines really just need to keep the ball away from Inter if they can here. Just run the clock down to halftime. Been playing a really impressive first half. It was a long throw in, finds the inside, and that goal is not gonna count. It's gonna be a free kick for the team from Arizona. Inter will have a whole second half to try to come back in this matchup, even if they were to score one here. Got me the juego here. And now the second effort. Again, it's that second chance, the second look, the second. The second look is just not the best here for SD Inter. Tether pass, through ball. They're going to definitely Cross. have a lot of work. Yes. In the second half. And I will say, make sure you don't get a third one scored because that would be not ideal, I'd say. Could be the end of it if they get a third one before they even get one in. Two to zero here. Stole. Fouled Palatok. Cruz. Nice dummy here by Cruz. Gets the ball back once again here in the midfield. It's going to be Cruz against the world. Looking and finding. Finds his teammate now across to the other side looking for Calero this is going to be another corner photo Renzi unable to get that ball completely but stopping the momentum shout out to him and this could be the last one we'll see if the referee decides to add anything Philly Bryan says que este parece la selección Inter contra el tri Yet another corner here. Finding the second post. And actually finding absolutely nobody because nobody was in that area. Lots of heads down. You have to say, 
this probably hasn't been the best game that SB Inter has played all season. Absolutely not, but we have seen c complete games for Inter where one half was Just terrible. as bad as this. Yeah, and they were still able to come back and win. So uh, I don't think they've faced a competition like this in those situations just yet, but we'll see what the second half has in store. There is a collision here. It's going to be a foul against SD Inter Nacional. Got foul talk here. Called for a foul. Play resumes here. And ball still going to be for Delfines. And that's actually going to be the end of the first half. It's going to be a 2-0 here at Mission Bay High School. Club Deportivo Delfines 2, San Diego Internacional 1. We will be back for the second half of action. Stay tuned.
And we are back. Y arrancamos with the second half action here in Mission Bay High School. UPSL action between Delfines. Club Deportivo Delfines de Abasolo, the visiting team in the green and black. San Diego Internacional, the champions of the SoCal Premier League, Premier Division, the UPSL, and as this is going to be an offsides for the SoCal champs. We are currently two to zero here. Shout out to everybody who's joined us in the chat. Two to zero, still a lot of time. A first half where Esti Inter really didn't have much offense to really talk about. They had a lot of corners, a lot of looks in that sense, but I can't say that there was a lot of offensive danger from Esti Internacional. Delfines struck early, fast and furious. Using that speed, that counter-attacking prowess. And we see Bren Zuniga here getting called for a foul. And that right there is number 10, Brian Medina, who has braced so far. Top score for Delfines' side. Medina here in the middle between four players is able to find an outlet. Ricky there. Some pressure from Cruz. This ball is going to get cleared out by El Buen Danny Strakis. Trying to find Cruz on the other side. Here comes Mark, top score for the UPSL in the nation. 24 goals in the regular season. Mark Cruz here with a pass. And then there's a cross that finds absolutely nobody in space, but it's able to be rescued. It's going to be a throw in here in a dangerous spot for SD Internacional. going to have the first corner kick of the second half. First corner kick in the second half here, as you were saying there, SD Internacional had a lot of corner kicks. I don't even think we've seen one from Delfinas yet. I'm trying to find it here. Her request of Captain Bren Zuniga. Find it, find it. Here he goes the ball into the small. La Aria Chica. Bren Zuniga here able to parry that. It's going to be out. It's going to be Pal Palatok finding Cruz. Cruz trying to muscle his way in between two to three players. La carne no es transparente. Can I go through the players like that? Delfines trying to play quickly here. Danny Strakis back to Zuniga. Zuniga. To Cepeda. Still Cepeda. Slide tackle here. Sliding effort for number 12 with the ball. Heine still maintaining the ball possession. Mark Cruz. Cruz steps into the box. He's still upright. That's going to be a San Diego Internacional goal. Goal. San Diego Internacional responding here early in the second half. There is time for absolutely everything, Chiva. And it's the player that I was most critiquing in the first half, Caleb Rubin, with a rocket with the left foot. And we have a game, ladies and gentlemen, two to one. Absolutely. Delfina is still on top, though. Absolutely. Looks like the referee is taking an extra second there. Where's a reminder? No VAR here. No VAR.
which I really do appreciate, but here's another opportunity here for Delfines. Delfines at some point looked like they can score at will. Whenever they wanted to, they were taking their time, they were being patient, they were being smart with how they wanted to control the pace and the momentum. And Tony, now we get to see how they react to this goal, right? They were comfortable, they had a comfortable lead of two nothing. But now one goal away from getting tied up and anything can happen now. Now this foul is going to be called on Mark Cruz, going to be a Delfines ball. I want to thank everybody who has followed us here. This flag is going to go up. It's going to be an offside. My name is Tony Sanchez, along with Alejandro El Chiva Villasenor, part of the two balls and a mic digital media group here in San Diego, covering all things soccer locally in the city of San Diego and abroad. Check out our website, San Diego Punta Football. San Diego, yeah, no, like really, it's not a dot com, it's dot football. That's how into it we are. San Diego dot football. As Alan here, here for Delfines, isn't able to get the ball over to Brian. Crowd is asking for a handball, but referee says no, play on. This is going to be a long ball looking for Calero. It's going to be a shot here, an opportunity inside of the box. And that is still danger, and that is a tying goal! Goal! San Diego Internacional tying it up. Ten minutes into the second half, not only do we have ourselves a game, and we, we have, have a tie game, Chiva. Yeah, Tony, we have coaching staff from Delfines who's furious at the fourth referee, pleading that there was a handball back there. Referee decides to play it on, and that leads to the tying goal for San Diego Inter. Ten minutes into the half, and we're tied up. And we have a yellow card here for a coaching staff for Delfines. Don Barbón. crowd as you can hear is getting into it absolutely into it both sides it's the international fans waking up delfines fans on las matracas and everything realizing what can possibly happen here it is two to two in the second half anybody's game and here's a mistake here inter can capitalize looking for cruz the flag stays down cruz it's the field goal post. It's going to be a goal kick for Club Deportivo Delfines. Seems like Inter have woken up and beyond. Lots of space there. Delfines has been playing very, very well in the defensive side. As it looks like the referee is going to go over and uh, check a little something, something. Make sure that the... Goals online. Goals online. As the Inter had the chance already to take the lead here. But now it just feels like it's as the Inter's game compared to Delfines. Shout out to everybody in the chat who's coming up alive. Jorge Spino, commentator, is an Inter fan. Hashtag commentator out. Well, if I would know the names and provided the correct lineup for Delfines, it's a fantastic institution. I would love to go ahead and give them the due diligence, but unfortunately, no. it was not provided to us. Sometimes it's amateur hour. As we have a game here, two to two. And really got to say, I mean, as far as Delfines, right, like that was a couple of defensive mistakes that they made. Whereas in the first half, they weren't making any of those. They had every single answer to every question that Inter had. Seems like they need to turn on the aggressiveness, perhaps. Flag goes up here. It's going to be a throw in for Internacional.
Perdón, Eric Velo. Dice que fue al baño y los empataron. Ni perdón. That was about 10 minutes, my guy, so... Hope everything's okay Hope over there. everything is chill and que todo salga bien. And here comes Este Internacional, Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz putting up an effort here. It's going to be a shot. What a fantastic stop. A la prime, David De Gea with the legs. Very well done by the Delfines goalkeeper. This is going to be a chance for the counterattack for Delfines. Delfines putting numbers up front. It's going to be Brian. Brian Medina. Brian Medina who cannot go around the defender. Jack Sandmeyer here. Still maintaining possession. Delfin is unable to get the ball through that defensive. There's a lot of space now in the midfield for both teams. Lots of counter-attacking opportunities. Cruz, Cruz, hace la suya. <laughs> Mark Cruz has three people on him. He's going to shoot from outside of the box. He took a little bit too long to give the pass, but... But other than that, it's another opportunity for ST Inter, who seem to be pressing a little bit more. We're going to have ourselves a substitution here. It's going to be number three for ST Internacional, Matt Mitchell, Mitchell, midfielder. And then giving way is going to be number 11, Ian Garcia. Ian Garcia playing a good game here. But giving way to number three, Matt Mitchell. And it does look like there's going to be a couple substitutions also for Delfines as well. As uh, Delfines Porra is turning on for their players on the pitch. Strakis Sandmeyer. Cepeda passing it on. Here comes Danny. Danny Boy, all the way back to Sandmeyer once again. Crossing that midfield. A couple of interactions there. Player asking, if you want this jersey here, you can have it. So it's going to travel out. It's going to be a throwing for the Internacional. As I were saying, number four and number 14 for Club Deportivo Delfines look to be coming on to the pitch as substitutes. It's going to be the end of the day for two of the players. looking at the benches uh, for both teams. That's going to be two substitutions for Delfines. Inter have already made one. It looks like uh, Coach Keith Miller is about to make a second one with a forward coming on. It's going to be Chris Ribbit. Ribbit? Ribbit. With the numbers that were provided, number 14, Lacerae Barway coming in for Delfines. The two balls in the Mike Research Department finding out some... Uh, some of the names that weren't provided for Delfines. Hopefully this happens again. We can go ahead and uh, make sure that happens and, and get it over to the commentary. Here's a dangerous look here. Evan Stoll clears the ball up and out into the midfield. Mitchell goes up for it and able to make contact. There's going to be two players that collide. Referee was very close to that one. Says that there is no foul. Calero here sliding onto the turf, but that one hurt. Had to sting a little bit looking at it. That's going to... That's going to be lead. It's going to leave a mark. Some turf burn there. Six oh two still representing themselves here in the six one nine. John Pork in the comments says, "Bien enfadosa las doñas." That's the comments here on the YouTube. Como como como. Now, Chris Ribbit coming in for Calero. Calero putting on a show in the second half, getting the tying goal. Again, Ribbit, a player that provides speed. We have seen him score before and takes a bow in front of the crowd. It was interesting to see if he scores in the way he celebrates. We will see what happens.
Billy Bryan in the comments saying, uh, excuse me, Eric Bell saying, escucha mejor los en español los comentaristas. Bueno, pues si lo quieres en español. Press that SAP button over on YouTube. Porque as we se have, puede todo. As we have here an opportunity here for Brian Medina. Brian Medina trying to muscle his way into the box here. Two to two here. Anything can happen. Heine goes up. Touches that ball with his head. Still maintaining possession, but Delfin is able to figure that one out. Ball abandons the field after Chris Mitchell touches it. It's going to be a throw in here for Club Deportivo Delfin. And Brian Medina has definitely shown his class in this game for sure. The only struggle he's had is getting out muscled by the bigger players. Jack Sandemeyer, obviously the tallest player on the field. Number four from the Phoenix. Uh, we're getting told here by Alexis Lopez is going to be Christian Lopez. So shout out Christian Lopez over here from the Phoenix as Chris Rebet looks to be making some progress here in the corner. And ball is going to abandon the playing field. It's going to be a goal kick for the team from Arizona. We Californians call them the Zonies. Coming, coming and taking over San Diego for their vacation the summer break. What's the temperature out there right now? Someone can let us know in the chat. What a beautiful 72 degrees. Yeah, hot 72 degrees here in San Diego. I think. Yeah, it's going to be a double tackle. Yeah, it's going to be a yellow card. Number 22 from SD Inter. Getting the first yellow card here for the, the team. Daniel Strakis going in a little recklessly. To remind everyone if this game does end in a tie, it goes to extra time and could lead to penalty kicks. There will be a winner here. It's tournament style, best 32 teams. The winning team does go into the Lamar Hunt Open Cup, the longest running soccer tournament in the world. Could potentially play. Sabes que? Either of these teams, Delfines or Inter, can play against Lionel Messi in a couple years. If, if, if so, there's the possibility. There's a, pos there's there's a possibility. The possibility is not zero. Messi can be here at Mission Bay High School. Zuniga there again. An aerial threat in defense. Bucket bounce around here. It's going to be a Delfinas. Possession is going to be a look from them. As things are getting a little bit more scrappy here, some strong challenges. This ball is going to abandon the field. It's going to be a goal kick for San Diego. Shout out Jorge Espino, who has let us know the weather update in Arizona. It is currently 112 degrees. Whew. Oh, man. 112 degrees. Uh, we are sorry for that. I don't think I've ever felt 112 degrees here in San Diego. Never. Uh, now, now we can see why a lot of family members decided to travel to San Diego with their, with their families here. Absolutely. Some interesting drivers from Arizona with some Arizona license plates, I've, I've noticed. And some interesting driving styles, but... Driving here is going to be Inter looking to move forward and break this tie. Delfines have been doing their own to maintain it and have had a couple of looks. Delfines were definitely better in the first half than Inter. Shout out to the chat for defender Brent Zuniga. Best defender in the league. Spectrum 26X. As this ball Chris travels. Chris Rivet trying with the Oof. bicycle kick here. Oof. Oof. Pero pegó muy abajo. Se voló. And beautiful weather here. Sunny San Diego. 
Yeah, come on down, guys. Well, it's not 112 degrees. We'll welcome you. We'll get you a, fr a, fr a free cella. Just got to subscribe to Two Balls and a Mic. That's number two, B-A-L-L-S-A-N-D-M-I-C. Two Balls and a Mic. The number one soccer outlet here in Southern California. All things soccer. Inglés, español, lo que sea, lo que caiga. Hasta poquito francés, ¿no, Tony? Ponle-vous francés, yo falo portugués, más o menos. Esta bola abandona el terreno de campo. Tonight I'm wondering if, like, do we sound better in English or in Spanish? Yo creo que en español, ¿no? Or is it just that they're, like, hearing a better in Spanish? Es que el fútbol en español es otro pedo. Es otro rollo. Esto es otro rollo y ya nada, nada. Es lo que parece. Y lo que parece es un 2-2 aquí. Número 4, Estrevan Cepeda con el... Saque de manos. Now looking for that corner once again. This ball's going to travel. Going to get challenged for Ren Zuniga, and this is going to be a header back into Sandmeyer. Pal Palatok. We're trying to find Cruz, who really has been everywhere. Except on the scoring sheet. He might be the deciding factor here in a couple of minutes. 68th, ball here. 68th minute looking for Medina and Zuniga closes in. The Zuniga Medina Battle matchup is, is pretty cool. It's an amazing one that we've seen so far. Here's a good little one two, a pull of the jersey. Referee didn't see it. The audience, the crowd did see that one. Good little one-two. Good triangulation here outside of the box. Brenton Zuniga trying to get rid of the ball and clear it. Unable to do so. Ball still in there. Dangerous look. It's going to be a chance for a shot. It's going to get blocked. Second effort into the hands of Evan Stoll. As the referee, the fourth official, gets swarmed once again from La Banca. La Banca se le vino el cuarto árbitro. Not too sure why. I think they're asking for some sort of handball or some sort of foul inside of the box that would lead to a penalty. Either way, still remains two to two. Dos a dos. Playing a little bit too much in that area, but ended up gaining a foul. We're going to have another substitution. Number 10 for ST Internacional will be coming in. German Sierra, German Sierra forward. We'll see who's going to be the player coming out. Delfinis. Delfinis with a chance here. The ball travels across the line, but does not go past it. It's going to be a SC Internacional throw in, but another dangerous look from the team from Arizona. Los Verdes y Negros. Los Verdi Negros. And it's going to be number 21, number 12, excuse me, for Asti Internacional. Garrett Heine coming out, and we'll have German, number 10, taking his spot in what seems like to be that central forward role. Chris Ribet moves over to the right wing, and Mark can do whatever he wants in the left wing. And anywhere, but here comes Medina. Medina with a chance here. He swings and misses, but that's going to be a foul. A dangerous set piece. Un tiro libre. A favor de Delfines. Un saludos a todos los amigos de Arizona. Todos los familiares que apoyan aquí a sus jugadores de la UPSL. Un tiro libre. Free kick. Referee taking the steps. Placing the wall. Looks like it's going to be Brian Medina taking the shot. Goleador Brian Medina ya tiene dos. Going for his hat trick here. Evan Stoll putting his wall up. Dangerous opportunity here to try to break the tie. It's gonna be a free kick. Medina! Goal! Hat 
Patrick, Brian Medina from the set piece to the left of goalkeeper Evans. Throw un golazo. It might have been a deflection in there. The, re the players for SD Internacional were raising their hands, asking and appealing for something to the referee. Either way, it's going to be a goal. It's going to count. Delfines, three. San Diego Internacional, two. Enough of deflection there. And now Delfines is back on top here. SD Inter's got to put in work now to tie this up again. And again, unnecessary fouls that are causing Inter to be losing this game now. Delfines now have the lead. They kept a whole half not being scored on 2-0. So they know how to defend, but it's going to be interesting to see how SD Inter move forward if they try to be a little bit more aggressive on the offensive side of things as this ball travels trying to find German trying to get his first touch of the ball since coming on here is going to be Ricky Gordillo Definitely a great game here by number 10, Medina. Top scorer for Delfines coming all the way from Arizona, putting in those miles. As Ribet here tries to give himself the self pass. Now, now, Tony, did that deflection count for Brian Medina as his hat trick? No, we can just see what the UPSL decides on that. I'm just going to give it to him. UPSL, give it to him. This is Brian Medina's hat trick. He deserves it. It was a good shot. I agree with you, yeah. As we have Cruz here turning on the, the burners on the left wing, still maintaining the ball. It's going to be Cruz. Cruz looking for German inside for a pass. That would have been a tap in, but the Delfines defense, bien parada. Se le está acabando el tiempo aquí a este internacional. Time is running out. Time is not their friend. Time is the enemy. Who's going to the 75th minute? 15 minutes and whatever the referee adds in the second half. Chris Ribet over on the right hand side. Chris Ribet against two fighting. That flag's going to go up. It's going to be a foul in favor of SD Internacional. Almost a corner. Really haven't been successful in corners so far in this matchup. Maybe having it a little closer will be something different for SD Inter. And offensive wise, I mean, there's not a lot of options left for coach Keith Miller on his bench. Most firepower he'll have is already on the field at this point. No le gustan los bebés. Parece que sientan el gol, ¿no? Que va a llegar. It's going to be a set piece. Referee has to tell a couple players in the box, hands to yourself. Stop touching each other. You don't know where they've been. Here comes a cross. That gets deflected by La Barrera. Recentro. Gets cleared out once again. Unable to be controlled here by the number four, Cepeda. It's going to be three against one. Very difficult, but it's going to be a counter-attacking opportunity. Zuni guys there to cut that ball off. Zuni got clears it looking for a German. And that's going to be a collision here. It's going to be a yellow card. Mitchell earning that yellow card here. As the player still remains on the ground here.
As the player remains on the ground, seems like a good chance for there to be a hydration break. La porra de los delfines se oye, se escucha, se siente. La porra de Inter. Van a calentando todavía por ahí. The 32 best teams in the UPSL in this tournament style for in tournament style competition for the UPSL winner again will go and be the representative of the UPSL in the Lamar Hunt Open Cup for the spring season not this season for the spring season as we have Delfines Trying to seal this game with another goal has to be very difficult for them. For Inter to come back from one. We've seen them come back for two, but again, Delfines was very good in the first half at answering all the questions that they had. Here comes a long ball looking for Chris Rebet. Chris Rebet in between two goes up, and it's going to be a foul in favor of the black and green Delfines. ¿Y qué delfines son verdes y negros? No, no tengo idea, no sé. Los, ¿sabes qué? Los de Arizona. Los de Arizona. Saludos a todos nuestros amigos de Arizona. 79 minutes. 79 minutes into this match. Ball's going to travel close over to the sideline to go out. Cepeda is able to get that ball. Chris Ribet is going to get fouled from the back. Time is running out. Ball starts once again with Cepeda. Strakis. Long ball over here for Paul Palatuk. Cruz. Cruz gets that ball to flex. It's going to be a throw in for San Diego. Yeah, correction. Green and white. And the only horns in the negro, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I see green and black on the uniforms. Los escudos son blancos y verdes. Still repeat the question. ¿Dónde he visto unos delfines blancos y verdes? En Arizona. Saludos a toda la gente que está sintonizando en sintonización. We had Chicago, Arizona, Tijuana, San Diego. Oh, ooh. Strokis hace lo suyo, pero no la puede acabar. Can't do the second part. Now it's going to be a scrappy battle here. Mitchell trying to find German. German's going to go ahead and push on the back. No foul here. It's going to be an advantage. It's going to be a good chance here for a foul. It's going to be no foul here, says the referee, actually. It looked like that was going to be a foul. Should have been called, but either way, does not get called. Ball travels all the way back to the area of Delfines, and it's going to get picked up nice and safely. And Mitchell needs to be careful for his Inter. I already got booked, came in in the second half, and keeps fouling and grabbing shirts as well, apparently. Has a counterattacking opportunity here. Gets closed over by Zuniga. Charlie for Brian, trying to get his fourth this match. What a statement that would be. Scoring four goals. That's a good slide tackle. It's gonna stop Cruz in his tracks. It's not a it, not an easy thing to do here. And again, if you're Delfines, maintaining possession of the ball in the last couple minutes is very important. Strakis looking for Mitchell. Rubin here. What a fantastic play here by Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz against the world gives the pass over. It's going to be an opportunity. It's going to be a chance. And that ball does not cross the line, even though it looked like it. An optical illusion. It's going to be a goal kick. 
Club Deportivo Delfines de Abasolo. Now trying to find this ball over on the other side. Trying to seal this game up. Ball abandoned. The field's going to be an inter ball. Keeping an eye on that clock. We're into the 83rd minute. Foul here for Inter. Now, right there's going to be a yellow card. You just can't do that. Asking for a space, putting your foot back in there. No le gusta el bebé la tarjeta amarilla. Starting back up here. It's going to be Herman German from outside of the box. Shoots. It's going to be up the uprights. Goal kick. Delfines. Looks like we need a different ball. Not enough PSI on that one. I don't believe Mission Bay has Walmart. Could be a goal kick here. Some time wasting. Part of it going to factor into how much time is added on. There is some movement in the bench for Este Inter. Ball touches the hand. Referee didn't see it. As continues, Zuniga blasts the ball, clears it out, looking for German, who controls it with the chest. Cruz with a good pass. Ribbit, Chris. Chris collides, and that's going to be a corner kick. Could be one of the chances that has the Inter needs to tie it up again. Corner kick goes into the box, finds a Delfin head. It's going to be a SD Inter corner once again, just on the other side. A reminder, if this does get tied up at any point, finishes that way, it will go into extra time. We need a winner today. As this ball goes and travels out to Mark, who goes and... Quiere hacer la volea, pero no le salió. Ball in the hands of the goalkeeper, who goes and, in a goal kick style, tries to find the ball. Brent Zuniga there. And it looks like there's going to be a substitution before that could have been taken. Y los bebés están estresados, Tony, en este partido. Los bebés están estresados, yep. It's going to be all for Pal Palata coming off. Diego Martinez, number 13, coming onto the pitch for this last couple of minutes, trying to find the answer to try to tie this game up and send it to extra time. Medina able to control that. Brian, the MVP for the Phoenix this matchup.
Y pues representando desde Abasolo, Guanajuato. Desde Guan... Buen Guanajuato. Aquí viene Brian Medina. Sí. Ball's traveling all the way back. Looking to get a foul here, and they do get the foul. Dicen que está dormido de la cámara. Despierta. Ya despertó. I welcome you, Jorge. Bienvenido, Jorge. Tú entras aquí la siguiente vez. Bienvenidos. A todos los amigos desde Arizona. And here's an opportunity for Diego Martinez. Diego Martinez is able to get that ball through over to Cruz. And again, Delfinis need to maintain possession here and not try to clear it out, try to play out with the ball. Chris Ribbett. Ribbett trying to find the side. Goes down. Referee says that there is no penalty, no foul. Looks like there was contact there, but referee says no. Referee has been fair on both sides when it came to contact in the box. I do like that the Delfines fans are coming after you, Chiba, the camera guy. Camarógrafo está comiendo los mocos. Mocos salados. Dormido a gusto in 72 degree weather. <laughs> Time is winding down here for SD Internacional. Piden mal saque, no se lo dan. Aquí viene SD Internacional con una de las últimas. Inter trying to find something. This ball abandons the field. Goal kick for the Arizona team. few minutes for it to be a happy drive back to Arizona. Winner of this game will probably have to travel to Indio, California or Anaheim area. It's ball looking for Ribbit once again. Ribbit plays it off. Mitchell. Mitchell finding Strokas, trying to find Cruz inside of the middle area. Cruz is everywhere. Cruz getting that shirt pulled. It's going to be a foul here. Sometimes the shirt pull is a yellow card, but the player was already carded before. Not going to give a red on that one. This could be one of the last ones for San Diego Inter. This might be one of the last opportunities. We have reached the 90th minute. Whatever the referee adds from here on out is all extra. So I was going to travel inside of the box, finding somebody to head it. It's going to be a goal kick. And again, we're looking over to the referee to see how much time is going to be added. They don't have the video board. So far, if this ends right now, it's going to send Delfines into the next round. Mitchell. Mitchell not receiving a lot of help. Zuniga able to get that ball, cut that ball across. And this might be one of the last ones for Inter. One of the last opportunities to move forward. Cruz gets fouled. Advantage given. But no, referee says it's going to be a foul. Keep it going. No sé están haciendo. Yeah, try to send it in the box. Three minutes added time. It was going to be three minutes of added time, so...
we're gonna have a ball that's gonna be sent into the box. Referee says stop the hand fighting, stop, stop the hand playing, slapping. Déjense de tocar. And here's gonna be the ball that's gonna travel into the box, up in the air. It goes up and it's gonna be headed, it's gonna be caught by the goalkeeper. Ending that attack here. And oh no, it looks like the goalkeeper's hurt. Referee's gonna go ahead and approach the goalkeeper. Hopefully everything's okay. Do have medical staff on site to hopefully help anything that might be affecting the goalkeeper. Our thoughts and prayers. We just hope that they do recover uh, in a in miraculous fashion. They are up. Our thoughts and prayers work, Chiba. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't lose his vision. That, that I've heard that happen sometimes. So far, it's going to be the Phoenix team, the Arizona team, the 602 team. It's going to move, be moving forward unless Este Internacional have something to say about this. It's going to be pushed in the back. Referee says play on. Closing in on the last couple minutes. Ribet looking for the ball in the air. This ball travels up and over. It's going to be a counterattack here. Possibility for Delfines. Ball gets cut off with the face. Yeah, that's going to be a sliding tackle. It's pretty dangerous there. It is going to be a foul. And I believe it's going to be a did all win. We'll see here. Even if it's not a foul. It's going to be a throw in. Si le dolio. Hasta yeah, that me was, dolio that was a hard tackle. Got, the, got to the ball first. But yeah, no hay foul. Pero the si, contact pero was si still duele. there. Those hurt. Si, yeah, duele todo mos. No need for Mitchell to be time wasting here but you can tell it hurt sana sana colita de delfin ball gets played Mitchell gets out of the way and now he's going to get a foul here it's going to be a yellow card and it looks like uh, everybody's going to go into the box now even goalkeeper Evan Stoll's making his way up there and this is has to be the last one in the game. As the chat divulges into a Ronaldo Messi debate. This ball is going to go into the box, travel into the hands of the goalkeeper for Delfines. Referee looks at his watch. This is going to be a counterattack opportunity. Brian can get us another one, but that's Evan Stoll finds it. Zuniga in the air. Strakis. This game will continue. Into the box is going to go German. And then this ball is going to go ahead and get clear. It's going to be a throw in. Referee still letting it play. Not the smartest clearance there. Into the corner. Could have cleared it to the sides. Forward. Giving Inter one last chance here. One last chance to tie this up. Goalkeeper Evan Stoll travels all the way into the box to see what they can do. Brian Medina is asking, why would he do that? Why would he clear it out in that area, giving another possibility to this Inter team to try it up? La última nos vamos. Zuniga making contact. This ball is going to roll out for a very quiet throw, uh, very quiet goal kick. Longest three minutes of all time. As Chris Ribbit travels back and uh, places the ball here. As a New Year's countdown has started in the crowd. Not sure if they know that's not how the time works. The time, let me explain this to you. The time magically works in the referee's head. You give a time oh, no of three way. minutes. Interesting. Ref with whistle in the mouth, and that is it. The game is over here in San Diego. Club Deportivo Delfines 
de Abasolo have defeated San Diego Internacional. The final score here is going to be three for Delfines, two for San Diego Internacional. Delfines move on to the next round. This has been your commentary team of Tony Sanchez, el Alejandro, el Chiva Villaseñor, on camera, comiéndose los mocos. We want to go ahead and thank everybody who were, who was on the stream. I want to thank all who have made this SD International 10th anniversary season special. Congratulations to Delfines. Shout out to everybody who joined on the chat. Subscribe to Two Balls and a Mic. Two B-A-L-L-S M-I-C. This has been a pleasure this season. So long. Until next time. <laughs>